the scary transgender person the media warned you about? I'm Rebecca. My name is Jamie Brisehoff and I am married. Uh, we have three children. They are 10, eight, and almost three years old. So I write a blog called I Am Totally That Mom. In the past few years, my blog has really uh, become more focused on our journey with a transgender child. So Rebecca has always been um, gender non-conforming. Um, as young as two or three, she gravitated to typically feminine things. She loved pink and sparkles and all things girly, and that was fine with us. This is a soft blanket that I have, and it says Benjamin on it, so we put it with my Benjamin box. <laughs> As her gender nonconformity intensified, we started to notice some distress around things like being grouped with boys at school or um, in activities. So by the time she was seven, all of this kind of um, hit a crisis point and her anxiety was crippling and her depression was uh, becoming life-threatening and we were at a loss. There's a picture of me. I don't look so happy. We were faced with a seven-year-old kid who wanted to die. One time she punched out the screen in her second story window and tried to jump out. The hardest part of all this was when I didn't transition and I was not happy and it didn't feel right. So we sought the support of a gender specialist and so through conversations there, Rebecca came to tell us, no, this is definitely me, I'm a girl. I'm a girl in, in my head, in my heart. I felt like I was a girl because I liked the color pink and I liked girls' clothes and how they wore their hair and stuff. At the time, it was the happiest I'd ever seen her, uh, frolicking through the girls' section of the clothing store, picking out clothes and, and seeing what she liked. She was just a different kid. It was like a cloud lifted. It feels good to have like a sister instead of a brother since I already have a baby brother and I think a big brother would just be too much for me. When I see pictures of Ben, I just think of it as part of my past and now I'm me. When she told me, I didn't believe her. I was shocked when she, and I was like, I don't believe you. That is not true. Rebecca really doesn't like thinking about the medical side of this. She doesn't want to develop into a man. So medically transitioning involves a lot of different steps and uh, every transgender person chooses their own adventure. For Rebecca, the first steps will be puberty blockers, which will pause puberty um, and prevent her from going through male puberty and uh, developing secondary male characteristics like facial hair and a deeper voice and an Adam's apple that are irreversible. The next step would be cross hormones. So um, Rebecca's a natal male, and so she would take estrogen to develop and go through female puberty. As far as surgery, she hasn't indicated a desire for that, but that um, is a decision she gets to make down the road anyway. Um, that's not something she would do before she's 18. I'm always worried about a reaction with Rebecca, um, both in the community and the church in the world. Um, I'm very worried about how the world's going to treat her because I see a lot of ugliness in the world on a regular basis. So this is a picture I put up on my blog Facebook page that went pretty crazy viral. It started out with some really wonderful comments and lots of affirmation, but if I keep scrolling here... So I've got this one. This is embarrassing. First, she is what? 10? I think I read. Okay. At 10, she isn't mature enough to make this decision. This decision was forced on her by her parents. This is a form of abuse not recognized. Parents forming their child into a social media spotlight seeking their 15 minutes of fame. 
I do honor her courage to stand in front of people and speak what she feels due to the forced dialogue of her parents. This whole transgender issue is a mental illness, but it's cool because you have parents forcing their kids into it. We haven't had anyone uh, in our community and our families say that we are pushing this on to her. Um, we have had that through social media and through my blog and, and that kind of thing, who, who goes so far as to say this is child abuse and we should have our children taken away and that, that we are sick and we need mental health and everything else. Um, and luckily, every major medical organization says otherwise and every uh, medical professional we've seen says otherwise. And so we feel pretty confident that we have the best resources we can and that we've supported her the best way we can and that we've gotten the support we needed as parents. Our hopes for Rebecca's future are that she gets to be who she is um, as boldly as she wants mm -hmm. to be um, and that you know folks are going to accept her for who she is and I guess at some point that being transgender is something that she can advocate for but isn't going to be a limit for her in terms of who she is and who she wants to be as an adult. I want to make a difference in the world by speaking out and spreading hopeful messages. Hi, my name is Rebecca. I am a transgender girl. I've been living as myself since I was eight years old, and now I am ten. This is who I am. My friends don't even believe me when I tell them that I'm transgender. I'm just a girl. I want to send the message of you are not alone and you are safe to other transgender kids.